Okay, so this video is basically about I had done all the there's a clump over here basically. There's a clump and there was some on the some hair on the right, some hair on the left, and I was able to tangle that and throw it into this detangled spot. This is the clump itself, what's left of it. I put some um moisture on it to um I don't know, soften it up and get it to the next level. And I have been using my fingers for the most part, but this clump puts you back into your reptile pick mode. So I am going to actually, if I learn how to edit, <laughs> put this on silent. Oh, and right now, so I can listen to some stuff in the background. But anyways, for, for right now, um, what I'm doing with this pick is I'm trying to loosen some stuff out and lengthen it with the pick. Just making sure I don't make any knots. Some of these strands are loose and some of them are not, so I have to spread them with the pick and lengthen them out. Oops, there's a little pop. Okay, so I have to be more careful and more gentle. So I am spreading things out and lengthening them with the pick. I'm trying to do all the work with the pick because there are a lot of fine-tuned problems in this clump, which is why we do need a pick very often. So we've gotten all the lesser problems out and put them into the detangled spot. But I have a tendril, a really skinny tendril, looks like a centipede going down here. Actually, it starts up here and goes all the way down. So it's a centipede, basically. And then we have a little nest at the end of the centipede. So that's what we're working out. We're using a pick to dig at it and loosen it up as much as possible. See if we can work something off the edges to free them out. Some free out some strands, really. Okay, that was sliding, which is a good thing. And this little curl that looks like an oopa loopa front curly bang, I can separate that out because it is untangled. It's just curled up. So we can separate that out into strands so that we have a slide down there instead of a Oompa Loompa curl. Okay, and I'm trying to work some stuff off the ends here and then spread them out and loosen them up. Okay, so I have a, some use in about, this is the end of the uh, centipede and tendril and then these are some U's. So I'm trying to see if they are slidey enough to work those U's down and out. I'm trying to find, so now the U's are down to here. Actually some are up here too because I'm feeling a little bit of tension. And these are um, single strands and just a few strands grouped together. So if you pull on too tightly, they're just gonna snap. So you have to really be loose and gentle handed. And right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm spreading back and forth with the pick. So that's what I'm doing. It's like I am spreading, but I can do it with my hands, but you can also do it with a pick and put that cone down. I'm going to spread it out like so and see if I can lengthen it some more. Okay. Okay. I got a little bit of movement. Sometimes you get zero movement. So I think the ends of her hair are fairly conditioned and I'm getting some movement. Earlier though, this blob didn't give me any movement, but then when I separated out all that I could separate out on each side of this clump, 
I was stuck and there was no movement. So I let it alone so I wouldn't get frustrated and rip her hair out. Instead, I put some more conditioning on and I also actually did one or two mist sprays on it. That's pure water, basically water. And then I let it sit and dry. And then I started messing with it again. And let me show you the size of the clump and the makeup of it. Before it was a big clump. So I think this tendril was kind of just balled up in there and I was able to release it down or whatever, maybe lo um, loosen some on the sides. But now I have, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, you can see it if I move my hand. Oops. So you see there's like a centipede tendril going up and down here. Before it was a oval clump of matted hair. Now it's a centipede tendril. And that is what I am working with right now. So I'm working at the end of the centipede. Maybe I can start working the sides because, yeah, the sides are moving. So I'm going to loosen. Yeah, okay, so the bottom was not doing anything for me. So I'm starting to work the sides, loosening them to the left and right. To the left, to the right. Okay. There we go. Okay, wow. So that, that was a better move, going to the left and the right of the tendril instead of working the bottom. Because now that I'm loosening it, it without pulling too hard and creating any knots, because uh, I, I believe that right there is a knot for a comet anyway, so I'm not trying to create extra stuff. But anyway, so now let me show you what it looks like just that quickly. So maybe you can see it. So the, let me turn you a little bit into this background. So the tendril is, it's not as hard a straight line. Now it's the uh, middle of it is loosened a little. And I hope you can see that it's not the same as it used to be. So I am going to continue to loosen it tendril up. Wow, even up here is moving now that I let it sit with some more concoction and a little bit of mist, not soaking, of water and let it sit and let it dry. I don't like to work with hair when it's wet, wet because, I don't know, it just doesn't work as well. I'm, and uh, when I do my own, I I did spray mist in there to kind of re-wet conditioner that I had let dry, um, kind of to reactivate it, sort of, and then I let it um, go dry again, but reactivate it, if that makes any sense. Um, the difference between the wet hair, there's a feeling that's different from just the um, greasy, oily, moving hair. Um, to me, wet hair is just fragile and a pain in the foot to work with. But wow, so just doing that and letting it sit for a while, look at the difference. I'll show you look at the other video before this, but look at the difference between that and the clump we dealt with um, in the last two videos. And even the centipede that we just had. Okay. So I might have to do another video because I have to make them short enough to be maneuverable on my computer, my laptop here. Okay, but you see the difference between what we started with uh, a tight tendril and this weird abstract art. Okay.